Hey guys, it's Marissa. So today I want to do something different and review a product that I bought recently. I'm not affiliated with this product. I don't get any reimbursements from this company. That was a great product and I wanted to share it with you guys. So as a dietitian, nutritionist, you know I'm always looking for ways to cook healthy meals. And I love all the new air fryers out on the market, but this one I thought was a great option because it has a glass base glass bowl so one you don't get any teflon or plastic seeking seeping into your food and two you can see your food while it's cooking so this is the big boss oilless fryer and it uses halogen convection and infrared heat to cook and you can cook food right from frozen but today i'm going to show you guys how to make some potato wedges seasoned potato wedges kind of a modified a recipe from the recipe book. This fryer comes with an instruction manual and a recipe book in English, even comes with a recipe book in French. So it also comes with an expander if you're going to cook a large food and you need a bigger So this thing is pretty big, there we go, this thing is pretty big, it takes up a lot of room on your counter, so you do, definitely do need a place to store it when you're not using it. We're not going to be using this. It comes with two uh, wire racks. One low and one higher one, and one mesh basket. So you can use one or both or all of them, and then it comes with these little tongs that you can use to pick up the racks because it gets really hot, and the glass bowl gets really hot when it's cooking too. So so I already started cutting up some of the potatoes. I cut them in half. And then each half I cut into quarters. I'll show you what I did. Cut in half. And then cut it into quarters. Try to get them all about the same size and you get all these little wedges. So I'm not going to use any oil. The recipe in the booklet suggests you can use um, olive oil spritzer, but I'm not even going to use that. We're just going to use a bit of apple cider vinegar. So first I'm going to sprinkle with a bit of garlic powder and onion powder. And this is thyme. I've done this recipe a few times and it came out pretty good so far. I was thinking about getting an air fryer for a couple years already, but I really wasn't interested in getting one that had plastic parts inside that would heat up. I didn't want any chemicals leaching into my food, so I was really excited when I found this one with the glass bowl. A little bit of salt. And then just a little bit of apple cider vinegar, not too much. And then mix this up to coat all the pieces evenly. Okay, so I'm going to cook using both the bottom rack and the top rack with the mesh basket. Got the lower basket here. I'm going to arrange some of the, the pieces of the potato wedges on the bottom. And this cooks much faster than it would in your traditional oven. And the good thing is it doesn't heat up your house while you're cooking. Okay, now we're going to add this top rack. 
you could take this mesh basket out while we arrange the potatoes on top. Okay, now let's set the mesh basket on the top and set the lid on top. Now we're going to set it to 450 for 35 minutes. And to turn it on, you have to make sure this handle, it latches to the base completely or it won't turn on. So we'll set it for 35 minutes and we can watch as it cooks. All right, so it's been 20 minutes and I think I'm gonna take out some of the potatoes that are on the top rack because they appear to be done. So lift the handle to turn it off. I'm going to take a close up picture so you guys can see how crispy they are. And the times they give you are not the greatest for picking things up, just really good for picking up these racks. So I think we're pretty much done with the top rack. If you're using both racks, it seems you have to spend a little bit more time watching the ones on the top to see if they're done before the ones on the bottom. See, this is how these racks, this um, tongs work. So now we could turn this back on and continue cooking the potatoes on the bottom shelf, the bottom rack. So it has 15 minutes left and we'll see if we need to add any more time. Okay, it's been a total of 25 minutes so far and the potatoes on the bottom rack are starting to get brown and crispy and we're still in the total 35 minutes, we haven't added any time. So I think if you're just using the bottom rack, it's a lot simpler, but if you're adding food to the top rack, you have to watch that to make sure that doesn't burn. So far they look pretty good. Okay guys, it's been about 33, 34 minutes and I think I'm going to stop it now because these potatoes look plenty crispy enough. I'm going to take a picture, close up picture so you can see. So I'll just take off the lid. pretty simple because you just have to clean these wire racks and the bowl doesn't get too dirty we didn't use any oil so it's just a bit of residue from the herbs and drips from the um, apple cider vinegar but definitely let this cool first so we can try our potatoes Fully cooked inside, crispy on the outside. So overall, I think this is a great product. It's a great option for an air fryer because like I said, it doesn't have any plastic or any specialty metals where the food can get caked on or you know chemicals can leach into your food. And the glass bowl allows you to see your food while you're cooking. And you can cook large quantities using the two, the two shelves. Just remember you're going to have to watch the top shelf while it's cooking if you have food on the bottom and the top. So again, this is the Big Boss Oilless Fryer. <laughs>